All right, Josh Carson here for Jessup Athletics, here with Austin Dill and Coach Lance Von Vogt. Another win here tonight for the Warriors. So, Austin, tell me just about, I noticed in your game, you're just so active on the boards. If you're not getting the rebound, you're contributing to it. Tell me about how you're able to just keep that energy down there, man. Uh, I'm just always trying to impact the play. Uh, even if I can't get it, I'm opening up lanes for my, for my teammates to get the rebound and just always hard, working hard. Absolutely, and contributes directly to this W here tonight. And then, Coach, you know, Oliver Amadroy got in a little bit of foul trouble early in that one. He was kind of in foul trouble throughout. Sam Howland came in and gave you guys 11 points tonight, above his season average. Tell me about the productivity from the freshman tonight. Well, you know, I thought Sam was great, you know, and, and uh, actually thought about going back to him late in the game because he, he was playing so well. Sam's capable, and, and you know, Oliver was out. Sam got nine games before Oliver was eligible, and he got a, a chance to really get the feel for what college is about. So it's like we have two starting centers now. I expect them both to be big for us down the stretch. And like what Austin was saying is, is, you know, those are two other guys that can impact the play without having to have the ball in their hands. You know, Austin is the type of guy that he understands he doesn't have to have the ball to make an impact. There's a lot of young kids playing basketball now, junior high, high school, so forth. They should watch how those guys play because really, ultimately, you know, we're just teaching guys how to play with the ball. But if we learn to master it, play off the ball, that's what can really impact the game. Absolutely. Some great points about that, too. And so you had two wins in this New Year's Eve showcase, crazy one last night, and then one here today. What do you think are the biggest takeaways that you can take from these games as we go move into conference on Saturday? Well, you know, it's, it's about getting back to the film and addressing the errors in, uh, defensively and offensively, you know, making better choices because we're coming in. We got Westmont and Masters. This, uh, we got Menlo, I'm sorry, this Saturday, and then uh, uh, Westmont Masters. So we've got three amazing teams coming into the house uh, over the next week and a half. And uh, we're going to have to have a lot of things cleaned up to be successful against those teams. We know that the GSAC is, is arguably the number one conference in the country. And we're going to have to play at a, at a top 10, top 15 level in the country in order for us to be successful across the season. So we're going to tighten a lot of things up over the next week and a half and see how we, you know, we match up against those top teams. All right, great stuff. And for more coverage, you can go to jessupathletics.com. Have a happy new year, guys. Thank you.